Hello everyone, welcome back. Rad Rover. Browns 23, Jets 3. Man, the Browns just put a pounding on the Jets. Anyway, it's not the Jets' fault. I mean, they had a third string quarterback. What can you do? What can you do? Anyways, I enjoyed watching the game. I enjoyed the pizza. I enjoyed the hot wings. So I'm outside. And the lights are on outside. You can see the uh, rest of the backyard of the clubhouse patio. Look at those lights. Looks a lot nicer. The lady who was, I guess, attending or working tonight, she does a great job of preparing everything. She got all the TVs on, put the lights on out there. Even when the game was over, no one was around except me. She still left it on. You can see, you can see the uh, the TV are the outside TVs are still on as well. They don't try to. She didn't try to rush me out. Then again, she also knows I make YouTube videos, so maybe she wanted a good presentation on the clubhouse. All right, I got the bike ready. Battery's on. The Rad Power Bikes of Light is on. My handlebar lights are on. My head-mounted light is on. All right. Look how nice it is. Look at those lights. Beautiful. And then darkness. All right, flip the map. And subscribe. And hit the notification bell. While you're at it, go ahead and like share and comment leave a comment yeah I reply what by emojis emojis now all right ready to go back home after a good Monday night football game really enjoyed it not too many people, it's, it's amazing, you know, I guess a lot of people here, they have their own TVs and they want to stay at home. I actually don't have cable anymore. All I have, I don't even have Netflix anymore, all I have is Amazon Prime, which gives me Amazon Prime Video, and Hulu, and I get Hulu for free because I have Sprint as my carrier, mobile phone carrier. Some of the sprinklers are turned on, so I got a little little mist spray on the camera. One of the reasons I like riding on the street during the night is they usually turn on the sprinkler systems at night. So sometimes you'll you'll get a you'll get wet if you ride on the uh, sidewalks. Better to ride the street on the road. Plus, there's not that many cars. It's like 10 25 so this is a neighborhood out here suburb of Houston and out here people are getting ready for work tomorrow the next day it's a Monday so they're all at home probably sleeping by now so I get the road to myself one of the benefits of riding at night during nightfall is you'll get to see traffic a lot better if they have their headlights on and they should be able to see you so make sure you have some tail lights I have two and then have some really bright lights up in the front so you can see because it does get dark I got one two three four lights I got the red power bikes light which comes with the bike and it's pointed down at the ground I mean it's it's bright because it's not that far away and I got two on the handlebar, and those are very bright, very bright. More brighter than the Rad Power Bike Slide. And then the same one I have attached to the helmet, or it's a, it's a headband wrapped around the helmet, I should say. And they run on batteries, so I do have to charge them. But they are very bright, and Make sure you get very bright ones because you want to see out far when you're going 25 miles an hour. You want to be able to see where you're going. Here's a different view of the the lights from the handlebar mount. 
going a good consistent 25 miles an hour. And the nice thing is you get some green lights, no traffic and green lights all the way. I think in this video it's, it's not that long actually, it's like 15 minute video. I took the quickest route and took the roads most of the way. I think next week I'm going to go ahead and just take most of the road. I'm going to actually go beyond that that uh, stoplight. I usually get on the sidewalk, but I'm going to next time I'm going to probably just go ahead and just take the street all the way. Riding at night is very different, and it's also warm. Eventually, when it gets cooler and cold, I'll be wearing different things and. Riding riding is going to be a little different as well. It's so warm at night, it's still even humid. I mean, you could probably ride naked and you'd be okay. You could actually ride your bike naked right now. <laughs> well, not right now, but I could have rode in the I could have I could have rode this bike naked and I would still be hot. Well, temperature hot like, you know, body temperature. Alright, I'm going on the overpass that goes over the railroad, so I'm going up an incline. I'll probably hit my infamous 28 miles an hour here sh soon enough. 28, maybe 29, maybe 30, who knows? Stick around, you'll see. Right, I'm starting to go down and pick up some speed. I wasn't really trying though, you know, I'm just riding the bike, trying to get home safely. So next time, I think I'm going to go and take the road all the way, I'm going to go past this stoplight. I'm just trying to make sure I get home safely, familiar, get familiar with the road, especially at night, when you ride at night. Totally different, when you ride under the cover of darkness, it's a different feeling. I mean, when I first rode my bike at night, I was scared, I was like, I was really scared. But now it's not a big deal. Take this little curb, I jumped the curb here. And it is really dark here, there's very little lights here. So it, it does get dark. Although, I have to admit, the camera makes it seem like it's darker than it is. I do have to lower the exposure because the ISO settings are so high, everything's so grainy. I didn't like that. I think it doesn't represent how it actually um, looks. So this is more, this is close as how it's going to be to reality. A little bit darker though, but your human eye can see a lot better. But because of the overlay that fills in the, the dark voids, I think it works out. Alright, I think I'm halfway there. And again, the helmet mounted headlight helps when you're making those windy turns. I think I have some links note section, there are affiliate links to Amazon, some of the gear that I have, if you're interested in them, go ahead and click on it. I do get something out of it, well, not me, I should say, my wife gets something out of it, she gets all the money. I hope she's buying groceries, I just make the videos and enjoy making them, and ride the bicycle, the electric bicycle that is, I enjoy it immensely. I post like a video practically every weekday. I take the weekends off. I need some time to recuperate. But every day I'm actually making a video. Some of the other things I enjoy doing is digital art. I have Procreate on my iPad Air. I'll draw some stuff. I got a, an app called Easy Poser recently. I 
having fun with that. Have you seen some of my Procreate videos where I show off my drawings? Check them out. They're probably on my homepage somewhere. I like that one too. It's kind of like you're Sonic the Hedgehog and collecting all those coins. Anyways, 28 miles an hour seems like a big deal in the electric bike community to go 28 miles an hour or higher than that, whether you're throttling or pedaling. It's, it kind of signifies the quality of your bike almost, which I don't, I don't think that's necessarily true. Just because your bike goes 28 miles an hour or over doesn't mean it, it's, a, it's a better bike because this, the Red Power bike I have, the Red Rovers, is uh, rated at 20 miles an hour. I did go into the settings, changed it to 40 miles or 40 kilometers, which is a little bit under 25 miles an hour. But I also changed the wheel diameter to the smallest, so it, I think that does help. So basically, I got a 20 mile an hour rated electric bicycle ended up with actually getting a, in some ways technically, very close to technically a class 3 bicycle, which is uh, a bicycle that you can pedal up to 28 miles an hour. I mean, technically uh, uh, any bicycle can go up to 28 miles an hour. I mean, any bicycle, go, any bicycle can go up to 30 miles an hour, technically. But anyways, the throttle alone only takes me up to 20 miles an hour. So I guess it's still a class 2 electric bicycle. There's some bike companies out there that really market their bicycles for going 28 miles an hour or you can purchase an upgrade kit to make it go 28 or 30 miles an hour or whatever. And there's a lot of bicycles out there that, that do crowdfunding. So, you know, the electric bicycle world has really opened up. I'd be a little bit cautious about the crowdfunding thing. It'll be a very, very long time. You may, the attractiveness is that you get a lower price or you get a very, very low price, but it may be a very, very long time before you get your bicycle. And by then, I bet you there's probably five to 10 other bicycles that are already offering that same style of bike going the same speed probably maybe even around the same price or even better specs that's just technology it just keeps going and going despite the fact of what you purchased last year's model this year's model I've had this bike for about a year and uh, since then, Red Power Bikes had added two to three new bikes. I guess if you consider the step through, the Red City step through, a new bike, and then the Red Mini step through, and then the Red Runner. And they've also added integrated rear light. What else? Uh, that's about it. In order to get the rear light on, they changed their rear rack system. So in the coming years, next five years, who knows what they'll come out with. I mean, they'll probably come out with more powerful bike. Maybe not faster, but more powerful as in more torque, more efficiency on battery and electricity. But if anything, you know, what makes, for me, what makes a, a good electric bike is not only how fast can it go or how much power it has and the cost, but also its utility and its versatility. I like the Red Power Bikes line because of the many options that you can get. The racks, the front rack, the baskets, the bags, fenders, uh, you know, I think fenders are important because I don't want to get splashed. I don't want to get dirty. I don't want the bike to get dirty. When it rains and when you're in the mud, 
Those are the days when you appreciate it. Or when you're going through water. Just, you know, the accessories and the ease of maintenance of the bike as well. Like, if you get a custom bike that is kind of really unique, I mean, you can't buy parts. That's the other issue. Getting parts, replacing things. One of the reasons why I prefer a bicycle that is a bicycle is because then I can change out the seat, I can change out the handlebar, the pedals, uh, the frame if I wanted to. Well, although this is a fat tire bike, but there's other fat tire frames out there that I can use. There's a lot of things I'm looking for. Ease of usability, versatility, uh, maintenance, and replacing parts because I know they're going to break down eventually. Alright, I'm on the home stretch here. On the home stretch. And as far as night riding, I think an overlooked aspect of night riding is a helmet mounted headlight. No matter how bright your your light is on the bike, depending on how it's set up, you know, making turns, it's kind of limited, especially for a bicycle, because you're not riding a motorcycle per se, you're not going to be on the streets all the time. You'll be making tight turns, you know, some of those streets and some of those sidewalks are pretty tight. It's kind of nice to have a helmet headlight helmet mounted headlights so you can actually see where you're going before you look. I'm signaling with my my gloves there and I'm shining a light on it. That's one way, that's one very useful thing about a helmet mounted headlight. The only thing I don't like about the helmet mounted headlights, not really helmet mounted, it's helmet head strap mounted. I gotta figure out a, a way to make it a little bit better. I took the visor off of the uh, Specialized Ambush Comp helmet. They got some threads around the sides and middle where the visor would go. I might try to use something I don't know if I want to use metal, maybe maybe Kydex, something I can make and form to mount the uh, light. Maybe then again, I'll just maybe I'll just deal with it or whatever. I do have a mount, so but I won't have the camera on the mount if I use the light on the mount. Anyways, not a big deal. I'm home. Those headlights are very bright. If you compare them right now to the Rad Power Bikes light, which is down at the grass, and then the lights that I have on the handlebar and the head helmet mount, you can tell the huge difference. All right, thanks a lot, everyone. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Check out the links. Red Rover Browns 23 Jets. The Jets 3. They got a pounding. <laughs>